How excited are Mara and I to be at Frog Street Market, which is, a lot of people think, maybe one of the coolest spots in Atlanta. Meanwhile, I'm just so happy you're on my side of town. Absolutely. Frog Street Market rocks. And I also love our buddy, Todd Ginsburg. He's got two of the great spots at Frog Street Market. And we've got to eat at both of them. They're go-tos for me and you. Fred's meat and bread. I'm going to work. What about you? Yalla. Yalla. Let's check it out. Great opportunity to be at Crock Street Market. You have people from all over the city coming in. It's new for Atlanta, it's new for Min Park, and it's new for the United States. Like, it's, this kind of footprint is going to take over. There's going to be a lot of these popping over throughout the United States soon. Chef Todd Ginsburg, Mara. Rock and roll, peace, love, and hummus. I am so excited to be at Yala. It's good to have you here. Thanks for coming. So, one of my favorite things ever uh, is Middle Eastern food, and you guys are killing it here at Yala. I have to start with hummus. You do it a couple of different ways. Tell me about that. So we do it in a bowl as an appetizer. We'll spread it on some pita for a shawarma. We'll spread it on some laffa for a falafel. So yeah, we definitely love our hummus here for sure. Tell me how you got the name. Well, Yala means uh, let's go in Arabic. So it's kind of like a very friendly kind of gesture that you would say to someone. Like basically what we would say here is like, hey, what's up? They say, hey, let's go. Tell me about some of the things that you guys do here at Yala. So uh, baba ganoush is obviously a charred eggplant puree. Uh, we do our shawarma on our spit over here. Uh, I'd love to give you a little sample if you'd like to try some. I want it. All right. How long has that been marinating? It marinates overnight in the, um, Middle Eastern spices, a little olive oil and some salt. And then we'll go ahead and put it on the uh, roast. Adelpha's bringing it over here. Thank you, Adelpha. Okay. Smell that. In those Israeli mm, Middle Eastern mm, spices. You could totally smell that. So you have some turmeric in there, you have a little cumin, mm. some ginger powder, a little coriander, some black pepper. Now I want you to try some falafel. So uh, go ahead and have a bite of that. Okay. Pull up a little lavin from the bottom of that. Oh my gosh, see yeah. that's where it is, it's all underneath. And this is fresh and hot falafel. See, I don't even, I know you do it in pita in a bunch of different ways. I just like it straight up. Yala! That is good. Mm. So let's break it down with a laffa. Laffa is a, a flat bread. Um, it's one of the two types of breads we make here. We do make the laffa in house as well as pita, but laffa is my favorite way to eat Middle Eastern food. It's so basically like a burrito, but from the Middle East. Okay. And it's a little bit more chew and not as floury. As a, as a burrito um, tortilla. And it's big. I mean, that is a big piece of bread. It, yeah, it's about it's about 18 inches, maybe 15, 16 inches in diameter. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of food that goes into there. For size sake, let's do that. <laughs> it's pretty big. This is pretty big. That is a giant sandwich. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> here, let's try. This is a perfect day right here. Mm. Bread, meat, and bread is the classic sandwich shop that you find in most neighborhoods throughout the country. And that's what we wanted to do here at Crowd Street Market. We wanted to remind you of the sandwiches you had growing up, but those memories were more enhanced because we were trying to use better ingredients and solid techniques. Is there anything cooler? than Crog Street Market. Yeah, I'm loving it. It's a, it's a good home right now. And now we're at one of the happiest places on earth for me, Fred's Meat and Bread right here. Tell me what is Fred's Meat and Bread, though. Fred's Meat and Bread is a sandwich shop here at Crog Street Market. Americana stuff, meatballs, cheesesteaks, grinders, hamburgers, all that kind of stuff. All right, I gotta tell you my quick story. Let's make the grinder, okay? Because that's the sandwich that is in front of us. I came down here thinking about the cheesesteak and the burgers, and I've had your sandwiches before. And then you had that twinkle in your eye and you said, the grinder, right? The sandwich. Yeah, and nothing, my life has not been the same since. All right, so where do we get the meat? Meat's coming from our good friends, the Spotted Trotter, who same people do cock and trice here at Crock Street Market. Yeah, right behind us. Yep. Great spot. So we got a little salami, we got some mortadella going on here. Salami, mortadella, yep. And then the aged provolone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and put it in the oven. So right now, just bake that bad boy. Yep. All right. I'll be right here. Yep. All right. Don't go anywhere. Okay. I'm gonna feed you. Well, that's why I'm here. All right. What I love about Crog Street is 
you get folks from out of town that think they've seen all kinds of different food and kind of locations. And you come to this place, the energy at Rock Street Market, if you live around Atlanta and haven't been here, it's absolutely the coolest bunch of food all in one place. All right, so I love the melt, right? Yes. And the bread, perfectly crispy, right? Yeah. Okay, so finish this all bad right. boy off. So all we're gonna do is take a little bit of tomato. The mad scientist of sandwiches, my boy right here. So we're here with some lettuce, some nice iceberg. Yep. Don't be shy with the iceberg. All right, now, a little oregano. Yep. And to me, the most important thing is a little olive oil and red wine vinegar. What's so great is individually, every sandwich is made. Sometimes there's a line here, a lot of times, because that's the kind of care you take with every one of them. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give that to you to eat. Ooh. Let me do this. Nice tear. Yeah, no, dude, I'm, I'm a professional. <laughs> Bro. With sandwiches like this, I could stay all day. But I promised Mara I'd check out the falafel and share a little something special from Fred's. How exciting is this? That's a falafel bowl. Yeah. This is a tarragon lime soda. Right. What are you doing Let over there? Let me show you what I got going on right here. This is not a falafel bowl. This is a double stack. So what did we learn today about Crock Street Market? You can do so much here. Obviously, Chef Todd Ginsburg is tearing it up. Tearing it up. With Fred's and Yala, but you can come here for lunch. You can come here and make it a night of it. Happy hour, cocktails, late night. A lot of restaurants to choose from, a lot of patios to choose from. We gotta stop meeting like this. I'll meet you like this every day. <laughs>